So last night, I succeeded in removing the crankshaft. Look at it. It's there. Ain't that cool? I would like to um, do uh, further disassembly of my head. I'll need a tool to compress the valve springs and then remove those little keepers or whatever, right? I've seen it done. I've never done it. But, you know, you live and you learn. You do and you learn. Okay, catch ya. They were just getting ready to swing, knocked me out with a baseball bat. <laughs> Legit, guys. Cylinder head, warpage limit, standard, through 1990, is 
two thousandths of an inch. And then the limit is four thousandths of an inch. I just got the most beautiful straight edge that was so well packaged, made in the USA. You're gonna see it in a second. I'm wondering what on earth I did with my feeler gauges. There it is, it's right in this. I was cleaning some of the excess oil off of it. All right, my head is in the sink. Look at that, I mean, that is nothing. That is metal that's like paper. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Will that go under? That barely goes under. And it could honestly be, maybe I need to clean the head better. Nuh-uh. Nuh-uh. Nothing. That's great, guys. I'm very flat. I get my head's not warped. Yippee. That's great news, you know. Uh, I thought it was maybe warped because out of nowhere my head get my head gasket was leaking. And I'm, I'm not exactly sure why it started leaking. Could have just been that the bolts needed tightening. So this thing's flat. Flat as a pancake, baby. I'll check my block for flatness, I'll, but that I would assume that that should definitely be flat since it's uh, why don't we do that? I'll just grab the straight edge. Okay. Engine block deck distortion. One point two thousandths. makes a fun noise. Very good, very good. Great news, we're flat. We don't need to go to a machine shop for that. I have some other metrology equipment. So these look nice, three and a half to six. I believe that's what I'm going to need to measure my cylinders. Yeah, that's just on the edge, maybe. Okay, Rui tool, outside micrometer. Three to four inches. 3.5, one, two, three. In the 3.426 to 3.4264 range. So, I don't know, I'm gonna do a little looking up and get back to you. I am feeling much better, guys. So many reasons, not that many. My dog is happy, she ran around, she's covered in burrs and smells like she rolled in something dead, which makes me happy. And she's back with the goats. And I watched a quick video on how to measure, or how to read these micrometers. So we know we're at between three to four inches, half. So we're at 3.5. Go to our vernier scale, which is these markings, two, four, six. Yeah, we were way off there, I think. It's Logan from the future here to tell you that the reason, the main reason I was having trouble with this and frustration and took so long and kind of have unusable footage is because I was looking at the wrong specs. I was looking at the specs for a different engine, an engine that's in a few, uh, you know, a later model Nissan truck, and so the measurements I was looking at were uh, were different, you know, and I eventually figured that out. But using this ring method and checking the ring gap, I felt sufficient with everything. So that's that's your lesson. Double check that you're looking at the right specs, folks. I uh, I'll do that in the future. I wanted to, I'm gonna port out, I wanna port the head. So basically what I'm thinking of is kind of obvious to me. There's this lip right here. And I could just see how if we brought that in a little bit, it would really help with the airflow. Just a quick little porting job, really basic. I'm just taking this lip off. Can, is that somewhat noticeable? See how I've taken that lip off, the ridge on the bottom edge there? 
You saw what I was doing. I think that's going to make a difference. And I'm going to continue to do that on the rest of these. I'll catch you when it's done. I'm not going to time lapse the whole thing. You get the idea. This was totally awesome, friends. This was a lot of fun to do. It's not the most beautiful job, but I think it'll do. Next is valve lapping, okay? All right. All righty, friends. Valve lapping by beginner for beginner? I don't know. I'm definitely not one to give advice on this. So it's more about making a mess together and uh, trying our best together. Just do a little bit of this. So that's way too much. Perfect. We'll just share that around town. Let's just go for it. I mean, the whole idea, right, is that we are helping to create a mating surface, a more, um, we're making the surfaces match each other, is the idea, right? So that they make a better seal so that you get better compression. So another technique that a guy, a guy who I, I like quite a bit on YouTube, not Uncle Joey, not, not Joey Coco Diaz, but uh, Uncle someone, forgetting his name, long haired guy, I mentioned him before. He's like, who's got time for these suction cup things? You know, just, Chuck it up. I'm guessing that should be plenty. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing here. So I think my, this valve is good and I am going to time lapse the rest of them. I look at rappers with maximum equation. X-ray vision invasion. Rhyme connects, perfects insects that crawl and try to bite my rhyme. Pesticides under double D combine the T. That's DDT, a chemical more better to burn roaches, germs, mouse, lice, termites, and pecunious bugs. Try thugs who perpetrate, nothing with them contaminate. Got my gloves on, so bring turtle doves on. Watch me pluck them and pick them, stick them, kick them, and vick them. I see you're featherless. You got the birdie disease by eating rhymes that I have for you. The poison is bad for you, stupid. You equal measure to dirt, dust, grime, and pus. You're just a rapping infection. Dirtalizing my section like a six-legger. You better step off and walk, you pure roach. Hey there, so... Finished the intake valves. Um, man, I really love how well the valves cleaned up using Scotch-Brite and the drill. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about that. I messed around with using the drill to do the lapping and then using the hand tool suction cup to do the lapping. Um, yeah, I think they both work pretty well, and obviously the drill's a little faster. I guess the drill worries me slightly. I'm, I guess I just am worried about maybe marring up the guide or putting a little excess force or that sort of thing on the valve guide because you're, you know, holding the valve from below, and you. So I'm just trying to pull on it directly and support the drill so that the valve isn't like pushing against the guide as it spins whereas when you're using this tool and putting force from the top the valve stem is really uh, you know it's not putting excess lateral force on the inside of the valve guide um, if that if my yeah you, you maybe get what I'm saying but feeling good about it feeling good about it okay thanks for watching uh, and I I can time lapse the exhaust side too. Why not? We'll see. Maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just go at that without the camera. But thanks for watching. Catch ya on the next job.
And now, let's repeat the non-conformist oath. I promise to be different. I promise to be unique. I promise not to repeat things other people say. Little valve, valve compound on the GoPro there. All right. Valve lapping is done. Um, I want to just clean this surface nicely, you know, that the head gasket's going to seat with. I think I just want to, might use this Scotch Brite. It's a little more gentle, maybe, because it's been used. So, enjoy this little cleaning time lapse. You won't really see it very well here, and so I fast forwarded through it, but I ended up, uh, I whipped out the Dremel here to clean up a little burr that was on this part of the head, and then I'm like, ah, uh, I might as well as go after the exhaust ports, and so I ended up doing a very similar porting as I did on the intake. Okay, I caved and did a tiny, tiny, quick, quick little port on the exhaust side. Um, just to kind of smooth it out, sort of like I did on the intake side. In, in fact, very similarly. Just now we clean the block, the head. Now we clean. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching this video. It was a bit of a long one. A heady one, you might say. Ha ha ha. Well, I'm a week in the future. Uh, I did a lot of this, all this head work that you're seeing and piston work on uh, Monday. October 19th and it's now Monday October 26th and the truck is still not running but very close in fact maybe I hope to even turn the key tomorrow but I have some transmission work and that sort of uh, those components to put back together before that can happen but uh, I had a lot of fun with this with some of this porting and the valve lapping I don't know it was a it was a great process and you'll see the next video is going to be uh, block work and getting the block already but we're getting very close so fingers crossed guys catch you in the next one hope you're doing well peace